India is great, very great. You gotta come here, visit. Hi, good morning. So we are heading to Rajgir. The guy says it will take about two hours to reach there. Fingers crossed. Just go enjoy the entire day of Rajgir Hot Springs, Nalanda University, Jalmandir. We're leaving now. Bus number two from Bihar to Rajgir. And we're finally moving. So we have reached Rajgir and our preferred mode of transport. First class, your name is called? Our Banarasi Tanga Wala. Banarasi Tanga Wala. Chaliye. Either way. Let's get on this. He's been riding Tanga from last 25 years and it's an honor to be with him and with Badal. Our Ghoda, our horse. So we are heading over to see the Japanese stupa, said to be the tallest. Let's just have a look. And we are off on this. Can't move a lot, but it is scary. Off to see the Japanese stupa. This entire park is being maintained by them. That's pretty cool. Something really odd I found here is people with the coins, they stuff it in the trees. <laughs> Watch. It was a really great visit. And now I'm heading back on next destination, that is the hot springs. We're heading off to the hot spring. We'll have a split stop at one venue. So we are at Venu 1. This is where Buddha spent last few years of his and life. Every day he used to go down into the lake to take a dip before he used to go down preaching. Inside it, it's really dirty, but it just took a dip. And why not? Let's just clean ourselves more. So, we are heading down to Nalanda University, the first university of India or the world, you may say. Hola, we are entering Nalanda University. I haven't taken any guide, but let's just go through in there and let's just gather knowledge and look at this magnificent university that was destroyed. These here are said to be the hostel. This is where they used to stay. Dormitories, private room or private rooms. That's just the 10% excavation. 90% more to go. 11 monasteries, 10,000 children, students, all coming for higher education. 1500 plus teachers from different parts of Asia. So it was one of the most famous and well-recognized university, Nalanda University, which was burned down. The name Nalanda, Nal means la lotus flowers and Da means lakes. So Nalanda University was surrounded by 52 lakes filled with lotus flowers, hence Nalanda. So we have reached the birthplace of Lord Mahavir, of the Jain religion right here next to Patna in this place called Kundalpur. Now we are off to Seng Hui Memorial Hall. A uh, two kilometers walk. So we are entering into Sang Sui Memorial Hall. It is a tribute from the government of Bihar to the great traveler. I'm standing right in front of the Swan Hang Memorial Hall. One of the greatest travelers, greatest translators the Buddhism has ever seen. He's well respected not only in India or China but all around the world. He traveled for almost 17 years round trip, all in search for the scripts of Buddha. 
please do visit off to the final stop jal mandir this is where mahavir had left his life last bus stop and that's about it going back to patna after this one minute away from jal mandir last stop for the day long day amazing day let's go check that lake out I am at Jal Mandir, which literally is Jal Mandir, surrounded by water body. It is where uh, Mahavir Ji, the 24th Guru of the Jain religion, was cremated right here. That's it. We are done for the day. We have run around a lot of places, and there are a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> and let's head back back to Patna. It's going to be another two hours, two and a half hours to reach back there. Whoops! Ciao. <laughs>